Hey there guys and gals, and welcome to Let's Play Silent Hill 3! And let's just jump right into it. Uh-huh. Um... So yeah, this is Silent Hill 3, um... Third game in Silent Hill franchise. And direct sequel from Silent Hill 1. This takes place 17 years after the events of Silent Hill 1, um, 7 years after the events of Silent Hill 2, and it circulates around Heather, a teenage girl with no knowledge of what the fuck is going on, <laughs> and some weird horsey going nuts. In front of us. Cuckoo! It's a warm day. Really warm. I don't know how I'm living. Anyway. Lakeside Amusement Park. Yay! Our protagonist, Heather Mason. I hope I fucking remember how to play this one. I don't remember everything about this one. I played it more than Sound Hell 2. Where am I? As you can tell, it's the better version. The PS2 version. I need to switch up a little bit. Here we go. Um. Okay, I need to change my options. Should have done that before, but anyway. Duh. 2D, that's fine. Um, the fix to in this one. Um, trying to walk, run, control, reverse it. Okay, yes. Okay, that's great. That's all I needed to do. Yeah, 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 seven. <laughs> Don't know why, but okay. <laughs> Yay. Oh. 
Yeah, you could fall down there. Hey, Robbie the Rabbit! A rabbit doll? That was a costume. Is there someone in here? It looks like there is. But I f don't feel like making sure. Uh huh, the fucking movie of this fucking got really stupid with the Robbie Rabbit doll. This is a dream scenario. Um, oh fuck, double head already. <laughs> Forgot about that. And the closer, hello. This is interesting. Um, I want to see what other weapons there are in this dream sequence. We have the pipe, the handgun, and the submachine gun. Just equip the fucking pipe even though it's useless. Because we're gonna die anyway. Yeah, the uh, thing that you've got to do here is die. Um, rabbit stuffed animal. Is a rabbit stuffed animal here? The mouth part is stained with blood. Almost like blood stains. Disgusting. It's a real shirt for sale. I don't think they'd help me at all. Yeah, the uh, the protagonist of this game likes to make smarmy remarks and break the fourth wall. Okay, there's nothing in there, so just leave. There is a set event for you to uh, die. Monster coaster. Um, you could die by getting the enemies to kill you, or you could have fell down the hole that I was running into. Um, but I would prefer to watch this little steamlet. Oh god, I hate those things. Oh fuck, oh fuck, no. Good girl. <laughs> we want to get to the coaster. Where the fuck is the coaster? It's this way. Hooray, <laughs> we're getting off to a good start. Okay, yeah, uh, you can't hear do. Oh, fuck you, pendulum. This is called a pendulum. It's the most annoying thing in the game. Not only because of the screeching. Okay, um... Just get on the fucking track and go. I love the loading screens in this. It looks so interesting. Anyway, you could also fall off here, but yeah, I just want to watch the little scene. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, scene. the tank engine the homicidal murder anyway <laughs> game over that was silent hill free thanks for watching <laughs> no no of course not they have to make it more fucked up than that <clears throat> it was all a dream Redness. <laughs> what a nightmare. Can I just ask, who the fuck falls asleep at a table in a restaurant? And better yet, who lets the person sleep there? Kinda weird. Like Tele. <laughs> happy burger. Easy happy burger. Hello Douglas. Nice shoes. Oh, I like my shoes. They're very nice. Sorry I didn't call sooner. Yeah, I guess I was. 
Anyway, I'm coming home now. Oh, I didn't get that thing you asked me to. Okay. <laughs> okay, I will. I love you too, Dad. What? Can I not use a public phone? No, you cannot, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you, bastard. Heather, I need to speak with you. My name is Douglas Carter. I'm a detective. A detective? Really? Well, nice talking to you. Please apply cold water to the burned area. <laughs> Hold on. There's someone that wants to meet you. Just let me have an hour. No, half an hour of your time. Do you know how to read that sound, sir? My daddy always told me not to talk to strangers. Ooh! This is very important. It's about your birth. I'm not interested. <laughs> I quite like the cameras in these. Ass. Are you still following me? Do I have to scream? Go ahead, bitch. Sorry. I'll wait here. Creepy bastard. Okay, now we can gain control again. Just like Silent Hill 2, the graphics in this really stand out. Especially for its time. Um, Guess someone's in there. That is the save point. I'm not gonna use them right now. Just gonna climb out the window and just keep on going. Um just checking. Wow, really? Okay. That's weird, but okay. Look the way she runs, it's funny. Okay, so uh, oops. <laughs> I'm so used to sound how to. Um, I suppose I should show you, uh, show you the uh, inventory. Okay, so your supplies are basically things like your health items. The items are key um, items that you find, or puzzle items as well. And the weapons are obviously the weapons. Uh, the maps, uh, it gives you access to the maps. And just like Silent Hill 2, you can also access any memos that you have picked up. And there's a van here. Well, that's helpful. Maybe I should walk around... Never mind. But how did this car park here? Who knows? It's one of those weird things that happen. One of the good thing, One of the best things about this game is how realistic Heather looks. Because they added so much detail to the skin. They gave her, like, red blotches and things. How do I... Oh. The Revolt of Turn Ale. I believe in Welsh, I think that's supposed to mean Underworld. So the Revolt of the Underworld. Okay, we are going to meet uh, the Closer again. We're going to get a good look at them. And we're also going to get our handgun. Yep, this early on. This lovely scene. How would you notice that? I'm sorry, how would you notice that? Without noticing the other thing here? Like that? Om nom 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 Om nom 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 I want nom noms Ew, ew Okay, that was a little bit too loud for the fucking thing. I'm gonna probably have to fucking adjust the volume quite a few times in this let's play. Sorry if it echoed. Oh, my fucking controller. I did. What the hell is this thing? 
I could probably like noticing the pocket that on her vest. It's definitely not human. I've never heard of such an animal. And no way it's a costume. It sounds crazy when you say it, but monster's the only word for it. But I don't think I'm crazy. And... I can tell from here that it's dead. Should I call the police? Not like they'd believe me if I said someone's been killed by a monster. And this little model that the closer was eating... Oh, if I can... No? Great. Anyway, it's a early... It's an early model of Angela Orozco from Silent Hill 2. Give me the bullets. So, yeah. Just like Silent Hill 2, Heather will turn her head if she sees anything um, important. Another turn the poster. There's the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to go down here because there's a little interesting thing here. I th yeah, 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 you can zoom in. What's that? <gasps> Is it Silent Hill 2? Anyway. The elevator doesn't work, so we use the uh, fucking emergency exit stairs. Those are blocked, so we have to go up the stairs. Fun. Wow. I wonder if I can get a little bit further. Um. Oh, hello. Looks like a cock with legs. I need past. Excuse me. Um. That is called a numb body. Um. I'll give the names of the creatures, but I won't give their symbolisms just yet. Um, for anyone who hasn't heard of the story of this game. Like I said, it's a direct sequel from Silent Hill 1. I got a pair of tongs. It's bread. It's bread. But I'm not really hungry, so I guess I don't need to worry about it. Oh, Heather, you smarmy bitch. There are no employees around. I wonder if th where they all went. This is where you get the flamethrower in a new game plus, if you meet the requirements. Um, the boxes that I ran into um, exiting the bathroom is where you get the unlimited, sh uh, the unlimited SMG if you uh, meet the requirements. Another poster for Silent Hill 2, Jesus fucking Christ. No wonder I played it after playing this. Can I go in here? Yeah, I can. And there's another double head in here. Beautiful little doggy. Um, I'll take your beef. T oh no, 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 no! My bum. That's my bum. I'm sorry, I took your beef jerky. It's mine. You can't have it. Um, down here is where you get the lightsaber weapon. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it looks like a lightsaber, but um, it's not actually a reference to Star Wars. Um, this is where we need the tongs. Something's fallen between the table and the floor. I think it may be a key. If my arms were a little longer, I might be able to reach it. There's, huge bo There's a huge pile of cardboard boxes on the table full of books. It's way too much of a pain to move something that heavy. Oh, yeah, God forbid, God forbid that you fucking move it. Okay, then. Also, that's not a table, that's a pallet with boxes on top. Also, why am I running? Oh. Reload. Um, you can equip uh, the handgun bullets and use a button to reload manually. I don't remember what the button is right now. Anyway, get the key. Hooray! I love that pocket though, it's just, <laughs> it's just because that's, oh, key with ta taken with tongs, um, that's because the uh, pocket that's kind of slightly pushed in is actually where she puts the flashlight. Hey, how's it going? More numb bodies. Four of them this time. Including the other one, I think. Or did that other one... Oh, no? No? Okay. Three extra numb bodies come out whenever you get the... Uh, get the key. I can't speak today. 
Sunshine Princess, Blue Bell, Natalie Shoes, my best sellers. Cafe Paradise Noon, Boutique Marguerite, Key of Beauty. Helen's big ring. Okay, bye. I don't bother with the closers. They try to get you in the little corners, which is why they're called closers. And the key taken with tongs is for my best sellers. And inside there is a puzzle. But right now I want to look at this fucking poster. Look at it. I knew there was something creepy in this place, but I never realized that poster. Until I fucking saw the uh, HD remake. The HD collection, whenever they changed it to Maria. Like, I never fucking noticed that before. <laughs> um, I don't know. Look at all the magazines. See if there's anything interesting. There isn't. Oh god, there's that poster again. No! <laughs> fucking posters. Um, fair is foul and foul is fair. Put these books out of order. Cool. Okay. And the books that they're on about is Shakespeare Anthology, all five volumes. Okay then, um... So, use... Um, you put them in any order to try and figure out what the code is. Okay, that's not supposed to go there. Oh. Oh, okay, three is last. Then comes one. I think two was at the beginning. One goes there. Five goes here. And four goes there. So the code for me is 1034. These are different every time you play. So for me, it's this one. For anyone who plays it, it will be a different one. So, 1034. 10. 30. 4. It's unlocked! Okay, and I'm gonna stop it here, because there's a cutscene after this, and I'll just leave it like this. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching part 1 of Let's Play Silent Hill 3. And stay tuned for part 2, where we're gonna meet the main antagonist of the game. And then enter the other world. That'll be fun. Isn't the other world? Yeah, it's the other world. <laughs> oh god, I don't remember a lot about this game. This is going to be a fun let's play. Okay, so thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye! Pleasant Silent Hill without awkward controls. And to be quite honest, I like it that way. Because, I mean, for God's sake, James Sunderland is a store clerk. Or something. Pretty sure he's a store clerk. And, therefore, he would have no combat experience. And, therefore, it, the controls should be clunky for him. 